Hey everybody, uh, this is Matt at Sparkle Farm. Just want to give an update about the zero turn with the ATV tires. Um, we'll see what that is. So, let you know, you still can get stuck. Actually, a nice morning here on the farm. It is still wet as can be everywhere, but just kind of killing time till this afternoon. Hopefully, everything's going to dry up a little bit at least. Uh, I got to get on top of this grass. It's it's way taller than I wanted, but in the meantime, I'm taking care of maintenance on the Cub Cadet ST100. Uh, I just added some new uh, lines to it, the whips, and that's super easy. Uh, I have a video of it that I'll try and put a link to here. But uh, like I said, just waiting for stuff to dry up. So just kind of going through the workshop, putting stuff away. Yesterday evening, I had a old 55 gallon drum. I just cut it to put all the stick tools in. You know, they're getting a little out of hand. I can't believe I have this many. Uh, that means I've dug a lot of holes and cut down a lot of crap. Uh, but let's uh, fire up the <clears throat> Cub Cadet and see how we're doing there. But we're not going to be whipping anything uh, right now. We're going to keep try and stay focused and keep working here inside the shop getting stuff picked up just basically getting the all, all the scrap that can go to the scrap yard out or in its designated piles outside and uh, just pieces parts kind of going where they need to go all right let's get this thing fired up though all right so I already checked the oil I just added fuel honey <clears throat> hasn't seen this thing in six months so I'm sure she's gonna be interested in it again just kind of check everything uh, <clears throat> everything seemed good so <coughs> we are going to fire it up So it must have just had some bad fuel in it. Like I said, I haven't done anything with it in at least six months. So pretty happy it was just what, five, four or five poles. So um, yeah, it's just gonna be generic maintenance on this for the rest of the summer. All right, let's go give it a quick test. Let it warm up, but uh, we'll get back here and do the shop. All right, thumbs up with that. We are ready for the season. I did that area because over the winter, for some reason I was throwing random scrap there and I don't want to hit something with the big mower and wreck the blades at the beginning of the season. So, all right, let's get back in the workshop. Let's stay focused. All right, just been Grabbing stuff, putting it away, putting it where I think it should go, condensing stuff, putting stuff oop, out there. Can't see it in the sun, but uh, I got the red truck <laughs> pretty loaded with scrap right now. Uh, needed all of it for some reason or another, but right now, since I'm slowly getting to this area, uh, we're going to be firing up the Ferris today. But I, <clears throat> excuse me, I winterized it, and right now, before I even try and start it, 
Um, I'm just going to put it on charge while I'm cleaning out to be able to get it out. So this big area here that I'm going to have, this is great. Uh, we're supposed to still keep getting the rain all this coming week. So I'm going to be able to work on a project that it isn't, the size of it is big of the item, but it's actually a small project that we need to take care of. But it's going to be nice to be able to do it inside the workshop and make any tweaks and adjustments before we move it out. All right. Um, yeah, let's get this uh, Ferris on charge and then I get to clean up and go through all this stuff and keep separating and all that great fun stuff. So this is kind of nice. I can actually get to the battery. Uh, from memory I thought it was just completely under the seat where you'd have to flip it up but it is not. And I'm going to set this to automatic. We're just going to give it a trickle charge, which is 2 amp. <laughs> Let me go try another outlet. That I might have that one off at the breaker. All right, I just had to, I just didn't have it plugged in good at the wall, but it's shown that it's almost fully charged, but like I said, we're just gonna let it trickle charge while I'm finishing cleaning up around this area. And we're gonna push it out, check the oil, gas it up, check the hydraulic fluid, being it's a zero turn, <clears throat> and fire it up. All right, moment of truth, let's uh, push it out and fire it up. Well, how about I clean that up first? All right, so I have to actually crawl in here, fire this thing up, move it. Again, I don't remember having to do this on the way in. Chokes on, throttles up, let's fire it up. this thing out and before it warms up and check all the fluids. Now that we have the ferris out, I'm going to check the oil, I'm going to check the uh, pressure in the tires, and I'm going to gas it up. 
and we'll take it out for a spin. Um, everything else should be in good shape. There's no drips underneath it. It only has just shy of 19 hours on it. It's actually 18.9. I've never had a piece of equipment with this low of hours. So what that tells me is that this is really efficient with cutting our lawn. Um, it used to take me hours with the same size walk behind and now I can do it so much faster. It's down, I have it down to less than an hour after I initially have it all like straightened out. So it's wet. I'm going to take my time to today to not tear it up the, uh, the grass, but uh, let's check the oil, gas it up and check the air pressure in the tires. So let's get going. Oil's, oil's good, oil's clean. Um, at, at 40 hours, it recommends changing the uh, oil. So I'll probably do it a little sooner than that. Uh, maybe not, but so that's, that's dead on right where it needs to be. Let's check the, <coughs> excuse me, the air tires. So we are 15 pounds in the back and 25 pounds in the front little ones. I guess that's why a lot of guys run the no flats on the front. So I put these ATB tires on shortly after I bought this because I kept getting stuck and it's really made a difference so I'll put a link to the video all right I think we are good oh so we gotta gas it up I'd say in the last couple years I've been I've changed which type of fuel I've ha I'm adding to my uh, machines um, for how much I really use the machine versus how much it really costs to make any kind of repairs and how smooth it runs I've actually I buy premium fuel now uh, it's just with all the ethanol that they add I just feel uh, you just don't that things just don't run right and this is a uh, more than a couple thousand dollar machine so I, I don't even know how much this motor would cost to replace it so I feel I'm just better off spending the couple extra bucks um, you know it's really you know five gallons and it's maybe 50 cents more so it's 250 more for five gallons of gas to save me some headache down the road or postpone it for a long time I, I think it's worth it well it's worth it to me anyway so and I still run all my fuel through stuff um, yeah I kind of think that there's just some junk fuel uh, in Ohio uh, I, I'm not 100% sure but I don't think it's actually regulated to the way other states do so um, I'm just hedging my bet All right, before I go any further, I'm putting away both manuals. Uh, I'm sure at some point I'm gonna need to look at them again. Uh, but yeah, this is great. All right, we're gassed up, oil check, hydraulic looks good, tires are full, our uh, pressure's checked. Got my ear protection, let's go fire this thing up. Alright, so 
Grass is actually crazy tall. Um, I'm going to raise the deck up and cut it today. Uh, it's going to be just nice and sunny the rest of the day. Tomorrow evening we're supposed to get some rain. So I'm going to cut it again tomorrow like around 1 or 2. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to tame the yard real quick. I want to give an update about the zero turn with the ATV tires. Um, we'll see what that is. So, let you know, you still can get stuck. Don't think you can't. Um, the problem is the machine weighs like a thousand pounds, and as soon as you bottom out with your mower deck, you, you just turn into a bulldozer. Uh, so yeah, it's going to hook it up to the Ford here and lift it out. Oops. That's gonna be hopefully as simple as that. Let me show you the destruction. So that was a good 25, 30 feet I had to drag this out of. So, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning. Ford did his job again. Uh, 
you know, I just have the lawn tires on now. I think if I had the crossbar, it would have been first shot, no problem. But just as a reminder for everybody, there's always pressure on your uh, zero turn transmissions. That's why you just can't push them. So that's why I lifted it up before I drug it out. Uh, all right, let's drop it down and uh, get us out of here. All right, so that's going to scrap tomorrow. We got the yard all straightened up. I cut as much as I could uh, with only getting stuck really good where I had to get the Ford out and lift up the zero turn twice. That's the bad area over there that it's just, it used to be a paddock for a horse barn and that's that pile right there, that's the last of it. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I'm wet, muddy, covered in grass. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. All right, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, hit subscribe if you want, and there's going to be more uh, monkey business here on Sparkle Farm coming up.